Yes, yes, City Extra fan cams. I got my main man Harry here beside me following a 3 1 win over Red Star Belgrade. I assume you're buzzing. Ah, football is back. First of all, I just want to spend 30 quick seconds on that international break. Gareth Southgate is a PlayStation 1 championship manager playing Pro Evolution Soccer 1 tactics, while Pep Guardiola is an Xbox Series X manager playing EAFC champ football manager tactics. And he's literally playing it in 5D. We've seen it tonight. And quickly, I just want to say what we've seen about Phil Ford and last week from Southgate. I mean, Gareth, lad, come on, you know this. I don't need, you don't need me to tell you, you don't need Hugh to tell you. Shit comes out your ass, not not your mouth, Gareth, come on. What you said about Foden, that is why you are got Middlesbrough relegated in 2008 and all City stayed up. You are nothing but an absolute embarrassment. Pep Guardiola has shown you up time after time. And even he said... And these boys said it on City Extra. What are you talking about, Gareth? That is coming from Pep Guardiola. He is world class. Pep Guardiola is one step ahead of the world. There you go. Pep is clear of Gareth, if you didn't know already. But um, anyway, tonight, Champions League, our first win on the board. Do you think we can do it again this year? Back to back? Not many clubs have done that. I think it's just Real Madrid and Ajax, possibly the only two. Well, um, I'm, I used to coach in rugby, and my old rugby coach said to me, one game at a time. But based on tonight's performance, we could go, and off last season, we've got the skills to go all the way again to Wembley. Hopefully we can do it, but one game at a time. We, we're far from five in the Premiership. We've got Newcastle in the Cup next week. So let's focus on Forest, and then we'll talk about Leipzig in a couple of weeks, which I'm absolutely buzzing for. Germany, I'll have some proper German beer, and I'll go into a German strip club and celebrate a Leipzig win. OK, anyway, bring it back down to earth for a second. A couple of um, semi-new faces playing tonight. I thought Mateus Nunes is really good. I like the way he carries the ball. I like his influence in the team. A lot, lot to be optimistic about there with Mateus Nunes. Well, I've got to um, be real. I was buzzing about Jeremy Doku last time, as we spoke about. So I'll give Nunes his praises as well. Nunes settled in. Um, he did well, controlled the midfield well, and hopefully he can continue that. Should he play against Forrest? I hope so, because, I mean, you can't just drop him after after a game because it's Champions League or League Cup. You've got to keep that momentum going, Pep. Hopefully, you can give Nunes his time against Forrest, so we'll see. He's a good player. I back him. Also, no Kevin De Bruyne, no problem. Julian Alvarez, come on, man. Four goals, three assists this season. Well, Julian Alvarez, what can we say? La Rania, la sexy Rania. Absolutely, Peng. Julian Alvarez and Erling Haaland link up, mate. Honestly, God, Hugh, I swear to you, if I could swear, fuck this, I will swear. Do you know what? That link up play and his goals were tardy. And let's talk about Rodri. Can we talk about Rodri? Because Rodri's goal as well, can't just give it to all Alvarez. We've got to give Rodri his praises. All three goals were absolutely outstanding. There you go. Harry's absolutely buzzing. Leave all your thoughts on what Harry said down below in the comments. Oh, so sorry. I'd like to quickly add, them Serbian fans are an absolute disgrace. Why why get loud in a minute silence for other countries? It's not England versus Serbia. It's about other countries as well. You're absolutely disrespectful. You're only good at violence. You're not good at football. You're not good at observing a minute silence. Go home. And that's all, that's all I've got to say. Good night. I like it. I like it.